there are many well-known habits people know they should never get into. Drugs, drinking, gambling, etc. What are some less well-known things or habits that people shouldn't get into? Credit card debt. Finishing everything on your plate. Don't let someone else decide what is the right portion for you. Grabbing your phone every chance you get. Saying yes to people even when you want to say no. Don't get into the habit of regularly borrowing money and things from friends and family. Scratch off tickets. I used to work at a gas station, and there were people who would sink hundreds of dollars every month into tickets, and whenever they won money, they'd just spend it on more tickets. They're not worth it. Mindless. Regular purchases. Regular Starbucks. Or smoking. Or eating out gets very expensive. Several hundreds of dollars a month really adds up in a year and a lifetime. Payday advance loans. Endless cycle. Putting off study. Or. Not prioritizing tasks for that day. Or not setting goals. Since your life is the accumulation of every small task thing you've ever done. If you don't get this down you're screwed. Screen time and scrolling. There are some apps that can put timers on your scrolling apps or you rely on self-discipline. One of the senior Facebook developers said that he developed scrolling to deliberately keep users on the site app longer, and that he regrets it because it has caused problems. Some people are addicted to screens and scrolling and don't realize. People are never bored anymore. Not cleaning up after yourself. This allows for shit to pile up and then it's just overwhelming forgetting to brush and floss your teeth. Easy to forget but very important to do on a regular basis. Not getting enough sleep. Seriously. Adults need 7-9 to nine hours of sleep to function properly. But a huge number of people think they can get away with 6 or less. You really can't unless you're one of the approximately 3% of the population with the gene for it. Chronic sleep deprivation can cause serious issues with your focus, mood, etc. And you might not even notice it if you've just gotten used to not getting enough sleep. Magic. The Gathering. You start playing it to make some friends and before you know it, you own several thousand dollars worth of cardboard. Procrastinating. Eating when you're not hungry. Tugging at eyelashes. Thinking you're a nice person by constantly letting people cross your personal boundaries. It is not selfish to say no. The right people will respect your boundaries. It is your job to honor yourself by setting them, and choosing those in your life who respect them. Not assuming everyone will just know how to respect you. Not buckling your seatbelt. Being defensive and finding excuses. There's a line between knowing your worth and being unable to grow because you can't hear feedback. Scrolled this whole thing and not seen one of the most prevalent ones. Cheating, adultery. All you need to do is try it once and get away with it. Then it's entirely unlikely you'll ever find a reason to stop. Holding in the pee or poop for too long. Dropping the word um into the same spot during a rehearsed speech. Anger. I've seen so many people addicted to their anger ruin their lives at a rate that's downright shocking. Even when comparing it to things which are traditionally seen as much more dangerous at a glance like some drugs and alcohol. Anger literally eats people alive. And spits them out. Changed. Becoming a workaholic your life just passes you by as you work away at some meaningless job. Online video gaming could become a serious problem when you fail classes. Stop going out due to some stupid rank on League of Legends. Tolerating friends and family that drain your energy, lie, and refuse to reciprocate. Not practicing self-care. You're not a robot and if you push yourself too hard and don't take enough time off you'll end up with depression. Eating as entertainment. When the answer to I'm bored is what snacks do we have? It's trouble. Negative thinking. It can destroy a person. Sugar. Nail biting. I can't remember when I started but I'm 33 and still do it. It makes my fingers look like shit and is a signal to others that I'm a nervous wreck. I'd really like to stop. It's unsanitary, painful, and gross. Being angry about everything all the time. My ex-husband was like that and after 40 years, I just couldn't take it anymore. Eating too much. 
worrying what other people think of you too much. Micro transactions. 99 cents here, $4.99 there, $9.99, etc. It adds up fast. Saltwater aquariums. So much money. Friends, not food. Negative thinking and unhelpful thinking habits. Avoiding things you're afraid of. Porn. Constantly checking phone, social media, Facebook addiction lol. Ubering everywhere. Isolation. Being alone is like a drug. A very long me day where every day you feel total freedom. Until you realize it has become too hard to get out of the habit. Sure, you could make the effort to reconnect with others or go out and make new friends. But people aren't that interesting and you feel too lazy. Better stay in bed today. Complaining. But what will Britain do to replace such a national treasure? Office gossip and shit talking. At my first job as a designer at an ad agency, there was a day when there was some shit going down between two of the department heads. I was new and found it fascinating and started to chat with my art director about it. That lasted about three seconds before he turned to me and said, it's all bullshit, and we aren't discussing it, nor should you ask anyone else. You're not being paid to gossip and neither am I. So let's both just get back to work. He said that quietly and with a grin, so there was no ruffled feathers. But he was right, and I can't tell you how much I appreciated that. All these years later and now I'm the creative director, and I still follow that advice. Don't participate in office gossip. Steer clear of people that do. Do the work. Be nice to everyone. Thanks so much for all the responses everyone, and big thanks for the gold. I'll pay it forward. You folks are great. I've really enjoyed reading all the great responses. Trying to read all comments of this post. You should stop it now. Automatically thinking negatively about things. Staying up late. Once you start, it's all downhill after that. Just sitting in bed for an hour after you wake up. Like I am right now. So warm. Pets. Don't get pets you can afford right now. Get pets you can afford to keep even if hit with a little misfortune. Like if you lost a bit of income and could still meet their needs. Soda. Seriously. I cut out soda a few years ago. And changed to drinking sparkling water. I changed nothing else about my lifestyle and I lost 10 pounds very quickly. I've since changed to just drinking normal water. And I feel so much better than when I was drinking cola regularly. Also after I lost that first 10 pounds. I started walking a lot more than taking the bus. I lost another 10 pounds by making that pretty easy change. 2. Keeping up with the Joneses. My sister's credit has been destroyed by my BIL's purchases. New tires. $1,000 curved TV. Gaming PC. And a Switch I just got one. So I might have been an influence. All in the past six months. Your toddlers are on f Medicaid. Take care of them first. Eating a terrible diet. Not saving money. People should work on their savings. Cut down on unnecessary spending. Seeing all these comments makes me realize that I should actually exert effort into my life. Your posture. Please take care of it. Guiltily unslouches. Re-slouches four seconds after scrolling away from this post. Saying yes too much. I've had to read this book called Approval Addiction because I have a bad habit of wanting to feel useful to the point of never saying no and overloading myself with work. Just because you want people to know that you're a decent human being doesn't mean you have to put yourself out constantly to prove it. The people who matter most will know without you doing favors for them. Skipping classes in uni, college. That shit escalates at rocket speed. Reddit videos. Playing video games for too long. Real talk. I was binging games for a while this summer and would finish a title in a few days if my wife was working and I was left to my own devices. Once school picked back up, I was a little depressed because that gratification was gone because I can't devote 6 to 8 hours to playing. I have a very active mind and playing games and having a singular focus is big for me. It's a mental health practice that I had perhaps gone overboard with. I still want to be able to have something to focus on and be able to show real and marked progress. 
so I picked up a few games that you can play for 20 to 30 minutes. A mobile game, and crossword puzzles. I now play for about an hour a day across all devices, but I feel great. I have my little escapes and I get my achievement high, without loafing for a quarter of my day. Lying. It's so easy to start fabricating small lies here and there. Makes life more interesting, doesn't it? Then suddenly you're speaking in a British accent for years to your wife who you told you were a millionaire and the taxman is coming tomorrow and the web of lies will shatter and fall. Mindlessly browsing YouTube at night when you know you should go to bed. I'm so guilty at this one, yet I keep doing it. I can't remember where I picked it from but a great rule I follow is never stay up late to do something you wouldn't get up early for. There are very few things I would get up early for. This is an excellent thread to kick off the new year with. People don't understand sugar addiction. It's a bitch. If anybody ever doubts sugar addiction is real, keep in mind, several times a year people are told outright, either stop eating sugar or you lose a foot. Many lose their foot. If losing a limb because you can't stop consuming isn't a sign of addiction, then the word is in serious need of re-evaluation. Online shopping, for clothes and stuff. It's so addictive. Edit. Wow. This is getting so many UPVOTESOMG I know I ain't the only one looking at clothes for hours on end and fantasizing about possible outfits. <laughs>